Well, it is time to get back into the cactus. Succulent. What else do I got in here? Aloe. Garden. And I also want to go on down and clear all this out. All the way down to here. Right here. I'm going to get all this cleaned out also. Because I'm want i wanting to expand it. So this is going to be quite a job. And I'm so glad I put that rock down. Because it really helps suppress a lot of the weeds. Everything's getting so big and beautiful. I just love the way they look. It looks like an ant attacked that plant. So I gotta see what we can do about that. Yikes! So the other day I didn't make a little bit of progress. Trimming up around here. And I'm going to try to get a little bit more done today. Well, I'd made a little bit more of a progress. I started lopping down some of these bushes and trees that are trying to grow and thick weeds but this down here this grass is like hey oh my gosh it's like burning up my motor on my little weed whacker so I think I'm gonna have to get the bush hog down here to take care of the grass over here so that's all I'm gonna do for today and hopefully tomorrow I can get some more done it is Sunday now and I have made a little bit of progress here. Okay, today is Monday morning, and I did get a little bit more burnt yesterday. But as you can see, there's still a lot to do. Today is Wednesday, and, um, I believe I got all the weeds out over here. I did that while I had the fire going. And I was going to burn some more today. But the wind is saying not today. So I'm just getting everything prepped for when I can burn again to finish this up. But I have lots and lots of babies coming up. So I think I'm going to pull a couple babies and put them in pots. Good Friday morning. Thursday was an all-day rain day. So, of course, I didn't uh, get to work out here. And now it's too wet to do any more burning. But you can see I've done some weeding and cleaning up. I've moved a few. Of course, I pulled up the babies the other day. I showed you that. And I moved a few over here, where I've already burnt. And I started setting in these steps. Then I need to burn this down here. And... All this over here. I have to wait for it to dry out. It's Sunday the 13th and I'm trying to get a fire going. This is like the fifth time I've started it in here. Nothing wants to 
take off. So I put some pine in this time. Hopefully the pine will catch on fire and keep it warm and going. But every time I look over at the cactus garden, I think, oh, it's beautiful. Today's the 17th, and this feels like it is just taking forever, but I am making progress. It took six tries to get this fire going, and I got it going. Cleaned up. There's a lot of little bushes coming up. I had to clip them out, or dig them out, whatever worked best. And now I'm just doing this last little fire here. Hopefully it'll take off and uh, get some more progress done. And look what I found. This was up here. And this is the gate to the um, trailer. So I gotta get this moved out of here. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Any suggestions what I should do with this? Today is November 18, 2022. And look what I got in the mail. I got apple cactus and dragon fruit. Two different kinds. And you can see how one, this is a lighter green one. This is a dark. And you can see that they've crusted over real good. This one was just clipped. And they put a line how far you should plant them. So I'm just putting them in small pots because I'm in zone 8 and these are a zone 9 and above. And um, I will be putting them in the ground in early spring after our last frost because I have several zone 9 plants that do well so I thought I should try these also of course not everything zone 9 lives here as you have seen I've built on a lot of things but I gotta try smallest apple cactus that they sent I, I put it in a pot and I'll be leaving this one inside for the winter and then plant it after our last frost now these three, I'm going to put in the new area of the cactus bed. I also planted, oh, I'm in the sun, oh, there we go, the variegated century plant, and this was listed under rare. There's one little one there, one little one there by the rocks. There, my hands are dirty, and one there, and then I planted the soap aloe and the Mexican, oops, Mexican lily right here. Are the last two plants to plant that I purchased from my garden group, which was back in July. And you haven't seen everything I planted because I planted some in a section I haven't shown yet. Okay, then if you keep walking over on this side, I planted more soap aloe and more duplicates from the side that's full. Again, I just think that's beautiful. I hope you guys like my cactus garden. So that's going to be it for now. I will get rocks and fill it in as time goes on. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is the aloe that bloomed last summer that I showed. It was so pretty. Okay, the beginnings of Section 2 has started. And the beauty from the first section you can see on the end.